In this video, I'll be showing you how to make cool designs on your command button. So first, we'll open up a standard EXE project here. And of course, we're going to be needing a command button. So put whatever, just put in that command button. OK, the next step is to open up Microsoft PowerPoint 07 or whatever PowerPoint you have. So go to Insert, click Word Art. And then pick whatever design you want here. So for me, I'll pick this one. And then pick black. Oh, that's awesome. OK. So put whatever you want the title of your command button to be. And I just put hello. OK. So that's one. And then, so OK. So we made one, so let's go ahead and copy this and paste it into what I'm using is uh, paint.net. So whatever you want to use to crop, all you need to paint for is to crop it out. So let's crop out the picture. Let's go ahead and crop. Crop, crop, crop. Okay. And cropping is selection. So save the file as a JPEG into a folder that's easily accessible. For me, I made a folder here, tutorial. Go ahead and save that here. So hello and save. OK. So we go back to the Visual Basic. Go back to the Visual Basic, click on the Command button, clear the caption. Go down to the properties of the command button, down to style, change standard to graphical. And then right above it, two, two little things above it, go to picture. And then click the little three dots and find your picture. Find the picture you just made, the little word art. So go and find tutorial and hello. There you go. That's a part of coolness so you go ahead and click here hello it's a cool looking command button but there's also some other cool properties you can fool around with in the command button see here it says disabled picture and down picture all right let's mess around with the down picture first so go over go back to the uh, go back to the PowerPoint go ahead and copy that little word art you made and paste and then just change the format change whatever and I'm gonna make it like this so hello okay then we do it again we copy it Let's go to paint and we paste it to a new image and crop it once again crop 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 so we go ahead and crop this and save it So I'll go ahead and crop, image, crop the selection, save as, remember, always save it as a JPEG. And then this is what we call, hello, the down button. And then, OK. So, the go back to the Visual Basic, click on the command button, go to the properties, go to down picture. So click down picture. And then click those little three dots, find the picture of down, double click, there you go. And if we run this, whenever you click on hello, it'll change to that picture. Okay, see that? It's a cool looking uh, hello there. So now let's mess around with the, what's the next uh, property here? Disabled picture. So we go back to PowerPoint. Copy paste once again. Copy paste. And then we change it once more. It'd be different. Disabled. So I'll be changing the font there. And let it be like that. Okay, let's copy paste once again. Copy paste. And crop. Copy paste and crop. Paste into an image. All 
I'd work faster if I had a mouse, but there we go. So go ahead and crop that. So save as continue JPEG. So hello. Disable. So you go back to Visual Basic, click on the command button, go to the properties, disable picture, and then find it disabled. And then we go into the properties to see what the disabled picture looks like. Go to the properties, go to enabled, and go to false. So if we run the program, there, that's what disabled looks like. So let me uh, make a little thing here, show you how everything works out. Uh, is equal to VB VB checked then else yeah. so command one command one dot enable is equal to true command to the command one that enabled the secret false. So this is just for testing purposes. So we go ahead and run this. As you can see. Let me check it. There. So this is the original picture, the picture picture of the the picture property of the command button. And this is the down picture property of the command button. And this is the disabled picture property of the command button. So if you want to make, if you're making a project or something, and you want to little make it a little fancy, you can just do this little thing here. I know there's some tutorials out there that make you want to download. Sometimes you're kind of a little scared to download those kind of things because it might bring viruses to your computer or mess up your system registry. So I made this tutorial just for those people who are scared to download those little uh, components. So here, this is some cool designs on command buttons, and that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.